Roger Moore, and this is Hypnosis Health Info. I've been uh, thinking the last few days about the difference between I think I can and I know I can. And this morning in a session with a weight loss client, this woman has uh, about 80 pounds uh, in total to, to let go of from, from her start weight to her goal weight. And, and she's down about 30, and today she said, well, you know, I, I'd be satisfied if I only lost another 20 pounds. And I said, well, you'd still be 30 pounds overweight. Why is that? Well, she said, well, I know, I, I think I can do that. I'm not sure that I, I can get to my goal weight, but, you know, that much I could do. And I said, well, why is that? And she said, well, I'm, I'm just not sure I can. So I told her about a uh, bike ride this weekend and what's been going on with me and my bike rides in the last few weeks. And, and you know, I live here in Bainbridge Island. We have lots of hills. And, and when I first started riding a couple years ago, uh, I really struggled on these hills, and particularly Baker Hill, which has a good 8% grade, and it's about three quarters of a mile in length. And, and I would ride up that hill sometimes having to stand up and, and often wondering if I was going to have to stop and get off my bike and push it. I just didn't know if I could make it up. And, and it's one of the most challenging hills in, in the Chili Hilly ride here in the island. And, and um, in recent weeks of uh, in this year of riding bike, uh, thanks to spin class and just lots of rides outdoors, uh, I've realized that as I've been riding up Baker Hill, I haven't really been focused on going up Baker Hill and wondering if I could do it. It's just I've been thinking about other things and suddenly I'm at the top of Baker Hill. And uh, several weeks ago I was on a, a bike ride here in the island with a man that's about 20 years younger than me that does several century rides a year, has ridden across Europe, and a small wiry guy. And, and uh, I was amazed because in our entire ride he never once took it out of high gear. High gear is the, the big sprocket on, on the front wheel. And, and he rode the entire island up and down those hills in high gear. And I thought, wow, how do you do that? That'd be really great to be able to do that, but my belief system was I couldn't. And um, so I started as I'd come around the corner at Baker Hill and start making my run towards Baker Hill that uh, I would add an, I'd increase uh, a driveway uh, in, in that high gear. And, and it was with the thought that it would be nice if I could ride all the way to the top of Baker Hill seated in high gear. But I really didn't think I could. But I kept adding driveways, and sometimes I'd keep the same driveway for a week or two. Sometimes I'd increase a little bit every day, and depending on, on uh, the distance between them. And, and last Sunday, it was July 5th, um, I'm riding along, and, and I spot a driveway that I hadn't been to yet, and I said, okay, I'm going to make that, that driveway. I know I can do that. And I was riding along and, you know, got there and I started to quit because was, that's where, where all the farther I was going to go. And I went, wait a minute, this is the exact same place mentally, emotionally that you always quit. Go on. And I looked up the next driveway and I went for that one. And I was amazed at, at, at the strength in my body and, and how well I was doing. I was still going along about six, seven miles an hour up that hill. and. And my whole attitude shifted from, I don't know if I can do this, and I think I can make this driveway, to I know I can ride all the way to the top of that hill. And as soon as I made that decision of, I know I can do this, my whole body strengthened, my endurance strengthened, the power from my body increased. And my speed picked up, and I rode all the way to the top of Baker Hill, as well as the rest of the route up and down the hills, in that big wheel. And, and I was amazed and was just really aware of, of the difference in, in the power of thought of, well, I think I can do something or I don't think I can do this to, yes, I know I can. And so my challenge to, to this woman, this, this weight loss client, my challenge to you is to approach your goals, go, go for the full goal from I know I can do this. And there's been some recent studies recently about um, people who are going for their goal weight, that if, you know, let's say it's 100 pounds they have to lose, that if they actually set their goal, their challenge of going for the 100 pounds, 
they're far more apt to be successful at achieving their goal and maintaining it than if they say 75 of the 100 or 80 of the 100. If they only set a goal partial, partial way, they're probably not even going to make the partial goal. They're going to quit before then. But they're much more apt to be successful if they go all the way. That's my challenge to you. To shift your thinking from I think I can to I know I can do this. I'm Roger Moore, and this is Hypnosis Health Info. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Oh no, help. The little engine slid back down the mountain, discouraged and defeated again, and went to the freezer and ate the entire carton of death by chocolate ice cream. If you give up every time you get started, or get discouraged too quickly, or procrastinate, and never actually get your little engine on track, there is help. Ask hypnotherapist Roger Moore. There's an easier way to succeed than trial and error. If you're discouraged, unmotivated, sabotaging your efforts, or just don't want to fail again, you'll want to listen closely. Maybe you're afraid of success, or afraid of failure, battling weight issues, procrastinating, losing your sex drive, or just feel sick all the time. Hypnosis can help. Hypnotherapy is probably the most effective way to find the cause of your problem, physical or emotional, and release it. Go to Roger Moore's website, hypnosishealthinfo.com, and you'll find CDs, DVDs, articles, and information on health and wellness that can help you feel better fast. And now, try it for free. When you go to hypnosishealthinfo.com, you can listen to and download free hypnosis sessions. HypnosisHealthInfo.com HypnosisHealthInfo.com Give the little engine that could. HypnosisHealthInfo.com Okay, hardest part's over. Actually, the hardest part of the whole ride. A couple other hills along the way, but nothing as long as that. At least the route I'm taking today.